Unfortunately, today we did not have time to go to the grocery store because we just got back from Tahoe, but it's my only opportunity to do it. So I'm going to look through our garden, and luckily it is July, so it is in full bloom back there. Uh, I'm going to pick up some flowers, and I'm going to take you guys with us. The first tip that I have for setting these up is, despite making it look like it's on a bed, the bed generally does not have the best lighting in the house. Uh, since our bed is not pushed up next to a window, I actually move all of the furniture in the living room and put the quilt down on the floor so that we get the best light possible. I am actually about to put Penelope down for her nap just so we don't have little curious fingers picking up the flowers I'm putting down and uh, little toes in the way of the furniture. So I am going to flip the camera around and give you guys a look into how that goes for us. Are you ready for a nap? Say yes. Yes. Can you say goodbye? Can you say nap time? <laughs> So I moved all the furniture out of the way. I set the blanket up next to the window like I mentioned, as well as the reflector that you might have seen. I used Penelope's toys in a basket to hang it the way I wanted so that it's angled over the quilt, meaning you don't need professional equipment. You can literally use anything you find around the house. I am now going to go pick the flowers and I will take you guys with me. Looking around, I do want to start with the bigger flowers um, because I know they'll take up more space instead of a ton of tiny ones. Um, so based off of the big flowers, then I'll pick colors for the littler ones. Um, and because this is our garden, I'm a little sad to cut flowers when there's only one. Some of the dahlias are blooming for the first time. Um, so I may not use some of those ones, but we'll see what we can find. gardener but when you clip the flowers I like to clip them to the first leaf so that more flowers can grow but maybe that's a story for a different time so leaves are actually also really great fillers and I end up going for either the boogum or I'm sorry the morning glory or the roses just because there's a lot of leaves on those that are small enough to not take up too much space i i don't know what do you think Rose. roses
I generally try to pick three or odd numbers of the flower of each flower. That's just a personal preference, but I think it seems to work look better when there's an odd number. Um, I have set up a pillow as a placeholder so that I I remember how big Penelope's going to be about. Um, not to say she's the size of this pillow, but it kind of gives me a frame of reference of where and how big I'm setting up my number so it's not too small or too little. Um, and I typically put my leaves out first, but it's because this is majority flowers, I'm going to just see how it goes this time around. created a mess and my flowers I'm going to take a picture with my phone because sometimes I can help me see if I have um, any angle issues or height issues um, so I will take a picture okay so looking at this I can see that my one on this side is a little bit shorter than the other one so it's a really good way for me to fix it before Penelope comes up here and we take pictures of her. Put your arms down. Hold on, I want to fix your hair. Are you pinching my nose? No. Okay, <laughs> put your arms down. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you positive? Okay, ready? One. Elevie's ready? It's right here. <laughs> Elevie, don't smile. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay, great job, Eloise. Uh oh. Oh, is it falling out again? Mm hmm. Eloise, you're you're a pro. Give me a high five. First, nailed it. You nailed it. You want to see how cute you look? You want to see how cute you look? Mm -hmm. Come here. Let's show Grandma. Can you say hi? <laughs> Miss Penny is awake. So I'm going to go pick her up now. <gasps> Good morning. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? I missed you. <laughs> Hi, Penelope.
What is it? What is it? I'm trying to get the ant on my on my hand. Oh, you're trying to get the ant on your hand. Mm -hmm. Come on, ant. Come on, get it on your hand. Maybe he can eat them. Okay, how about you put the flowers in the bowl and then we can try to get the ant in there after. Yeah. Put the flowers together. Uh-oh. That's good. That's a good spot for it. Keep going, Eloise. My Mario. Your Ariel, yeah. It's so beautiful. Thanks. My this Ariel to go on the sea. One type of twine in my hair. Um, yeah, we can find one with a stem to go in your hair. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you can put this in your hair. things that we've discussed and a few things that I have not yet mentioned. Don't forget to consider timing. Watch the light. Make sure that it's not going to have a hot spot by the time you actually get to the point of taking your pictures. Make sure that the um, flowers are actually cut as close to the, the actual petals as you can get so that they lay flat. You can use multiple flowers to prop some of the other ones up. Um, so that they're facing up when you're taking the camera. You can actually see the inside of the flowers. Uh, make sure your kids are well rested because the last thing you want is to have a meltdown, which does frequently happen to me as well. Um, and you just kind of got to make it work and got to do what you can to please them and make sure they're there since the flowers have a shorter lifespan. Um, having a second person makes a huge difference. So if you can get your parent or your significant other or friend to help you um, catch their attention or make them smile while you hold the camera, that makes a huge difference as well. Giving the baby something actually to hold, you'll see in a lot of my pictures, there's either like a piece of fruit or a flower in their hands. Um, it prevents them from rolling once they get to that stage because they become so mobile. Uh, it's quite difficult to catch them before they ruin your flower arrangement <laughs> often. So having something in their hand really distracts them and makes them focus on that as instead. Um, my biggest tip is don't be afraid to cut the flowers. I know I mentioned that before. Can I open those? <laughs> yes, sweetie. What I was saying is you will have the memories of these photos far longer than those flowers will last on your in your vase, on your countertop or tabletop. That's something I struggle with quite a bit is buying these beautiful flowers and then cutting them up for these photos and then not being able to use them again. Um, but what I keep reminding myself, and it's true to this day, is I look back on those milestone photos of Eloise and those flowers would have been dead and gone by now. So having those, they're memorialized um, in that way and it's well worth cutting the flowers. I know I mentioned in the beginning being afraid to cut the beautiful dahlias in our backyard, uh, but at the end of the day, I would have if there was nothing else left. Um, so good luck, have fun, and please tag me if you take these because, or if you follow these guidelines, because I'd love to see what you come up with. And don't forget to click like and subscribe so that you can be up to date with the newest tutorials and videos and follow along with our family and leave a comment with what you'd like to see because I really love hearing your feedback. Um, we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. <laughs> what do you think? Is that delicious?